Hello, this is Ulay Zarek on behalf of Group 6 for the Software Engineering and Human-Computer Interaction Project. Our project is called Volunteer Finder Application. Our group members are as follows. The problem statement of our project is that many people find it hard to find volunteering opportunities and to be notified when the volunteering opportunities that suit their interests become available. Our project overview is to develop an application that allows users to find volunteering opportunities they like and best practices in software engineering and human-computer interaction. Based on our problem statement, these are some of the key requirements that we should have. Find and search volunteering work opportunities. User and organization registration. User and organization profile. And admin account and privileges. Our goals for this project are to capture the user and system requirements and use cases of the application, to create a prototype application that fulfills a subset of the requirements of the application, and to use the best practices in both software engineering and human-computer interaction. Now I will talk about HCI and design. HCI defines how the user is going to interact with our product, given the user requirements. User requirements are the list of features that the product should have in order to satisfy the user. They are gathered from a variety of sources and means such as client and user interviews, following which the design process takes place, which defines the interface and possible use cases of the product. After user interviews, we have identified the key user requirements for our project. They are features for users to apply for volunteering opportunities to register and create a profile, and for host organizations to post volunteer opportunities associated with them, and also admin privileges to manage the website. I will now discuss about wireframe prototype and its heuristic evaluation. The overall design is good, however, for the purpose of this presentation, I will highlight mostly the issues and some benefits of the prototype. This is the home page of our wireframe prototype. The features are a search engine and a filter for volunteering opportunities. The benefits of this design is that it's simple and it's minimalistic design. However, the register and organization link at the bottom right of the page could be made more visible as it is a major part of the overall functionality. Next is the advanced search page. There are two issues with this page. First one is that there's no search button. The second is that the scroll bar could have limits on maximum and minimum distance. Next is the sign-in page. The first problem with this page is that the login button causes confusion. On the page, there's a login button that says login with Facebook, where it should just say login to avoid confusion. The register button below is a bit ambiguous. It should be specific, such as register as an individual. Confirmation pop-up page provides the user feedback and notifies the user if he or she successfully registers for the site and volunteering opportunities. This is the user profile page. The biggest problem is that there's not an edit profile option and the view application button is ambiguous as it doesn't clearly state what it does. Next is the list of volunteering opportunities page. A filter function would be very useful in sorting the list of volunteering activities and an order by function would help the user in finding the opportunity that suits him or her the most. One benefit of this design is that the short descriptions of the tasks on the page help the user save time while finding an activity. Here is the host organization page. You can see that it is clear and it's easy to navigate through, and it's not cluttered with too much information thanks to its minimalistic design. I will now discuss about the Moscow requirements and the use cases of the project. In line with the goals of our project, we brainstormed a large list of requirements for the application. We then refined these into a final list of 38 requirements before assigning them a priority based on the Moscow approach. A few of the most important requirements that help us achieve our goals are three different account types, allowing only volunteer organizations and admin to create and amend volunteer opportunities, allowing registered clients to contact volunteer organizations about opportunities, and requiring volunteer organizations to create profiles of themselves for the users. All of these are graded as a must priority. Following on from the requirements, we moved on to the use case analysis. We evaluated our list of requirements, gathering keywords in order to produce a domain model. 
This began to show us how the system would work together with the users. We then generated 22 use cases based on how people would generally use the application. We have a couple of examples of these use cases. This is to register a new organization. The main flow of this use case is that, first, the user selects the new organization account button in the VFA main screen. Second, the user inputs a new username and password for the organization. And finally, the details get saved in the database. Next is the Add Volunteer and Opportunity, which can only be done by admin or volunteering organizations. The main flow of this use case is as follows. First, the user selects Add Volunteer and Opportunity button in the VFA organization's screen after logged in. Second, the user adds the name, ID, of the new opportunity. Third, the user adds the new opportunity's details and saves it. Next is the edit client interests, which is done by either the client or the administrator. The main flow for this is as follows. First, the user selects the edit client interest button in the VFA client screen after logged in. Second, the user makes the relevant changes. Third, the user clicks the save button. Now I will talk about object-oriented analysis and design. Object-oriented analysis and design is the process of planning a system of interacting objects and analyzing them to solve problems. In this case, it would be for the prototype to achieve a set of requirements. Object-oriented analysis is done through defining the activity and sequence diagrams. Activity diagrams express the dynamic aspects of the system and flow of information between activities. Sequence diagrams model the interactions between the user and the entire system. This is the diagram for the activity flow of a registered organization. Next, this is the activity flows of a registered user. This is the life cycle of a volunteer and opportunity. Following are some of the sequence diagrams for the application. First, user registration. Next, login. Next, find volunteer and opportunities. And lastly, view organization profile. Moving on to object-oriented design, an object-oriented design was constructed based on the prototype implemented. For the implementation of the prototype, we will use a model view controller pattern. Our implementation includes three main parts, models, views, and controllers. Model view controller pattern divides our prototype software into three separate parts. First, model. It defines the behavior of the software as specified by the requirements, independent of the user interface. The model directly manages the data, logic, and rules of the application. Second, view. It defines the user interface of the application. And finally, controller. It sends commands to update the model state. And this is our overall class diagram. This is the model classes. These are the controller classes and these are the views represented in JSP files. The following are the descriptions of the classes in the application. First three classes are the entity classes, which represent the various roles. VW class represents volunteering opportunities. The next four classes are the repositories, which manage the entities. InitDB service initializes the database. The service classes implement the repository classes that store, save, and retrieve entities. And your controller classes provide mapping to various pages and send command to change the view of the pages. APA repository is used as a database abstraction. Our repository classes extends this interface to do method name to query translation. We'll now move on to implementation details and demo. The tools we have used to implement this application are Java EE, Eclipse IDE, Jetty, HSQL, Bootstrap and jQuery, and OSX. We used several support tools such as Google Chrome to view the application and Git and GitHub for collaboration. In this demo, I'm going to show you the whole features of the prototype application that we created. We are now at the home page, and as you can see, here we have the Go button, which will take you to the list of all volunteering opportunities. And this is the sign in register button that will direct us to the login page. Currently, we're not logged in. We can log in as either administrator that manages the contents of the site 
a user that would like to volunteer and host organizations that have volunteering opportunities. And below here are the links that will take you to the registration page. We have two separate registrations, one for the user and the other for organization. Before we do that, let's log in as an admin to look at its privileges. So as you can see, we are directed to the home page and now you will be able to see individual profile by clicking the button here. And this basically displays the info of the user that is currently logged in. As an admin, you can look at all the available users. And basically look at their profiles. The admin can also add new volunteering opportunities by clicking the Add VW button here. Let's create a new test opportunity. You will be able to see the new opportunities at the bottom of the page. Let's sign out and register as a user. OK, so it's successful. So let's go over and check login. So now we are logged in and if we check our profile, we are logged in as test user. A user can look at available volunteering opportunities. And if they see something they like, they can add volunteering opportunities by going back to their profile and click apply VW button. And as you can see it, new volunteering application has already been done. The list of organization can also be viewed. This is the list of all participating organizations at the moment. And we could also visit their individual profiles, such as UNICEF, for example. This is UNICEF's profile. Now we go to Google's profile, and this is Google's profile. Last but not least is the organization registration. Before we could do that, we need to log out. And let's look at the available organizations now. As you can see, a new organization has been added. Finally, our project evaluation. The goals we have achieved in this project were successfully capturing the user and systems requirements for a prototype application and creating a prototype application that implements a subset of the requirements. The improvements we can make on the prototype could be to do more rigorous design process such as empirical evaluation and to implement the full requirements. In conclusion, we have achieved all the goals we set for the project. We successfully implemented 26 out of 38 Moscow requirements. All members of the group contributed equally and to the best of their abilities. We have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.